Did you know budgies can glow in the dark? Let's find out why and make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Now, we're going to tell you one story. One study which left some great consequences. Around 2010 or 2011, one ecology professor was helping a student to investigate beak coloration for his graduation. That student brought UV light, he pointed that light at the bird, and then he switched it on. Then the whole amphitheater was surprised. They say that Birds' beak was fluorescent, like it was painted. From that moment on, everyone changed their thoughts about little budgies, and they started saying how cool these birds are. They are so tiny, but they are amazing. It is like some small creatures have very interesting powers. Their glowy nose was something really impressive to everyone. We can be free to say that some best dressed contests for the bird would be very intensive. They would have some real competition out there. Also, it turns out that a lot of species glow in a special way that we cannot see. They are using different methods. Actually, two different methods, but they are a mystery to many researchers. But an important thing for you if you want to understand birds' radiancy, you have to understand UV light and learn something about it. It is so interesting because of the different ways which make things visible. Because of the complex construction of humans' eyes, we can only see that visible spectrum. That is the light that is made up of wavelengths from 390 nanometers, we see it as a purple color, to 720 nanometers, red color. Ultraviolet UV light is much shorter than that. UV light is made up of wavelengths from about 100 to 400 nanometers. Remember, we can't see it, but birds are the ones who can. Many studies have shown that UV light can help birds for everything during their life from some essential tasks, such as finding food, to some more complex tasks, like differentiating which are their eggs and which are nest parasites. A few, similar to grouses, use it to all the more successfully search for bilberries, which begin reflecting UV light when they're ready. Others, similar to kestrels, may utilize it to follow voles which mark their ways with the splendid yellow path of UV-immersed urine. We mentioned before different methods of bird brightness, and now this story we told before brings us to the first type of those secret methods. We also have to mention that there are probably thousands and thousands of species of birds that have UV-reflective patches. Also, this includes starlings, a lot of types of parrots, tropical songbirds, and many others. It is also very difficult and very challenging for us to tell what exactly it looks like. Because, like we said before, we cannot see UV lights. But even it is not so important for us, researchers have discovered that this plays a huge role in the bird society. Dr. Justin Marshall, with his colleagues, has discovered that the UV pigments on little budgies' feathers play an enormous role in their attractiveness to the opposite sex. Well, now we are talking about something very interesting. Maybe some of you, but the very small number did know that the little budgie has feathers on his cheeks, that he has crowns on his head, that they are reflecting ultraviolet light, which is unmistakable in courting displays. Also, budgies have four types of color-detecting cells in their eyes, while people have one less. Because of those four cells in their eyes, they can see into the UV spectrum, so to a budgie, the pigmented feathers show up very, very bright. After reading about this study, you are going to be amazed by some really interesting facts. In this study, budgies were divided into two groups. In the first group, budgies had petroleum jelly with sunscreen, which was spread on their heads. In the second group, they were budgies without sunscreen on their head. When studiers leaked the UV rays, they saw something that happened in the first group. 
Actually, the sunscreen stopped the UV light, which was reflected by the feathers. But also, they realized that sunscreen didn't block any other colors. The second group, like we said, didn't have sunscreen. They just had petroleum jelly. Then, female budgies had to choose between these two groups of budgies, ones with UV color or others without UV color. After some time, the females showed a preference for males that didn't have UV colors. A big number of birds, especially ones which are brightly colored, have feathers that are UV pigmented. This was the first documented case and it showed ultraviolet attraction signaling. After reading previous interesting facts about budgies, let's go on to another. Another experiment. Another amazing fact. The light green budgie had some bright fluorescing feathers. Yellow budgies also had very bright fluorescing feathers. But what is interesting, blue and albino budgies didn't have fluorescing feathers. That's because they don't have any yellow pigment. Also, what is interesting, black-eyed yellow budgie had some fluorescing feathers, but that was way, way darker than the others. This is the same for female or male adults. If you are one of the owners who breed different types of budgies, you have to remember a few things. Firstly, remember that blue budgies will find mates more difficult than the other ones. They want to bond just with green type budgies. That's why you should breed green or yellow budgies. Also, if you are one of the serious breeders, you can forget about this problem if you place one pair of budgies in a cage. In that case, you won't allow them to choose their mate. A pair of blue budgies won't be bad for breeding, but remember, they will always choose green budgies to mate. The next interesting fact. Well, we are all aware that we always say how budgies are identical to each other. We say that male and female parrots look the same and we can't describe any differences between them. Actually, UV patterns make them not look the same. They are all different. Because of this, their choice of mate is very interesting. For example, female blue tits prefer males' top knots glowed up with UV rays. Signaling like this helps even when they get their babies. Amazingly, chicks have UV tallies around their beaks. Because of that, their parents know in the right way where to put food. We said already that budgies can see UV light, and because of that, they are so colorful. Also, we all expect that little budgies will have colors that belong to the UV spectrum. The green-winged macaw is an incredible model. The blue feathers on the wings additionally reflect very, very strongly in the UV. That gives them a blue-green shading in the combined photograph. The white face cover reflects all through the obvious and UV range, so it seems white in all photographs. The mouth, in any case, doesn't reflect very much UV. To people, the nose shows up nearly as white as the face. Yet to birds, it would be viewed as an alternate shading. The equivalent is valid for the eyes. Even the most common budgie has UV coloration and it's amazing. These birds have specifically UV-colored marking, which is incredible. Numerous budgies have blue feathers that additionally reflect UV light. Be that as it may, the budgie has a little fix on its jawline that reflects essentially UV light. In this UV photograph of parakeets, you can see the jaw pointing as a shiny spot. To the natural eye, it seems violet and is a lot darker than the enclosing feathers in light of, in general, low noticeable light reflectance. Budgie, which is blue to our eye and reflects bright wherever except the dark spots on the wings. But if you study, you can notice the yellow and green budgie on the privilege is a lot darker in UV. This is not quite the same as another yellow budgie, similar to the meadowlark, which mirrors a decent piece of UV light. I accept this shows an alternate shade is being used in the little sweet budgies. We don't think a lot about what different budgies see. Clarified colleague Dr. Justin Marshall, a neurobiologist and a sea life scientist. 
What is turning out to be clear is that budgies see things contrastingly to us. The investigation was distributed in the current week's issue of Science. People are generally visually challenged in the creature world. Dr. Marshall said in an interview that people are generally visually challenged in the world of these little budgies. Also, he has mentioned that budgies had the absolute best vision on the planet. Because of that, we are amazed, so we are sure that you are too. People can just observe bright light under unique light conditions. Dr. Marshall's examination followed work started at the Australian Museum, where the custodian of budgies had been informed that parrots fluoresce under UV light. So he directed a progression of trials utilizing stuffed parrots, clarified Dr. Marshall. Dr. Marshall saw that fluoresce were utilized for show, but what is that for? Fluorescent plumage included a 14% extra chromatic sign to the crown area. Researchers determined that the crown area is the visual arrangement of another budgie. Also, he said that they have measured the light which was released by these birds, and that is all united with the abilities of budgies. Budgies, some amazing little creatures, are more fun than you thought. They have feathers on their cheeks, they have crowns on their head, and what is the most interesting fact is that they are reflecting UV light. What is very interesting, and what we mentioned before, is that budgies have even four types of color detecting cells, while humans have only three. Those four cells are the reason why they can see into the UV spectrum. So, to our little budgies, our little buddies, the pigmented feathers show up very bright. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Watch next. Where do budgies come from? Or budgie vlog. Visit our official webpage for more information and budgie care.